It's time to reveal exclusive polling that shows you, the public, are fed up of being lied to about the number of crimes committed by asylum seekers and illegal immigrants. We have record levels of legal and illegal immigration. We are set for a record year of channel crossings. We are paying more money than ever for these people. We have a right to know how many crimes they are committing, how much less safe we are, and for that to be a part of the discussion when it comes to border control. So here we go. It's official. Most people think the government should make data on all crimes that are committed by asylum seekers and illegal migrants available to the British public. Overall, 53% of all voters strongly or tend to agree with this statement, while only 18% disagree. Now, among Conservative Party voters, more than three quarters, so 76 percent, would like to have that data available to the British public so we can all get a better sense of who is committing what crime in modern Britain. This week, Rishi Sunak said that he would leave the European Convention on Human Rights if they blocked Rwanda flights. Well, we can now reveal 36 percent of voters said they agree with withdrawing from the ECHR. 31% don't want to, and a further 34% said they don't know. So it's up for grabs, isn't it, really? 66% of Tory voters want to leave, and just 15% of Labour voters. Now, that is a very, very clear message to the Prime Minister about what his actual voters want, isn't it? But who do you trust to stop the boats? Well, the overwhelming answer is neither. 55% of you don't trust either of the big two parties to resolve this issue. Get this, though. Just 7% trust the Conservatives and 15% trust Labour. That is absolutely devastating for the Tories. But how bad are things nationally for Rishi Sunak? Well, here is the very latest voting intention results. Are you ready? Labour are on 45%. The Conservatives on 19%, Reform are at 14%, the Lib Dems are on 9% and the Greens are at 8%. The Conservatives are now not even attracting half of the people who voted for them in 2019. Dare I say it, but telling us the truth about asylum seeker criminals and pulling out of the ECHR might turn the tide. But before I get the thoughts of my panel, I am joined now by the man behind the polling. It is Professor Matthew Goodwin. Matthew, thank you very much. Look, great stuff, this. OK, Hi, so uh, first things first, uh, the public want to know about asylum seeker and illegal migrant criminals, don't they? Well, absolutely, they do, Patrick. And of course, this is part of a bigger debate that we've been uh, seeing playing out in the newspapers. A Conservative MP, Neil O'Brien, wrote a fantastic piece in The Times this week saying, look, it, it, in lots of areas... Uh, in the immigration debate, we simply don't have data. We don't know who's committing crime. We don't know who's contributing to the economy or not. We don't know uh, how different um, groups are performing in schools. We, you know, there's lots of data here on the immigration debate, Patrick, that lots of other countries are collecting and we're not. But what's clear from the polling is when you ask ordinary Brits, look, do you think that the government should be making data on crime and, and other issues available to them, uh, more than half the country say they agree with that. They think absolutely they should. And this is about trust, Patrick. This is about people, the taxpayers, the British people being able to see clearly mm. what is going on in the country and who is uh, committing crime and how do those levels of crime compare across different groups in British society. Mm. Uh, and also a fundamental right to know. And uh, the other thing there, standout thing anyway, I suppose, was to do with the ECHR. Now, quite up for grabs in a sense, but the amount of Conservative voters that would be happy for Rishi Sunak to pull out the ECHR, again, is very telling. A base that, let's remind ourselves, he is losing currently. Well, absolutely. So remember that the rumours are coming out of Westminster this week is that Rishi Sunak's going to go for it. He's going to, you know, pull the trigger on withdrawing from the ECHR if if the courts start to block these uh, flights to Rwanda. Now, the crucial thing for him is we've got about two thirds uh, of uh, conservatives on side with this notion of uh, leaving the European Convention on Human Rights. You've got a plurality of all voters who are quite up for leaving uh, the European Court. So, look, my message to Rishi Sunak would be you've got to find some way of winning back those 2019 Conservatives. You've got to find some way, Patrick, of suppressing that Reform Party vote in the polls. It's, they're only five points behind the Conservatives. I mean, this is getting close, the race between Reform and the Conservatives. And I would be suggesting to Rishi Sunak, look, you're going to have to pull 
an immigration themed rabbit out of the hat. You're going to either have to leave the ECHR. You're going to have to take even more radical action on stopping the small boats. You're going to have to outline your plan to get net migration down to sensible levels of 100,000 or 200,000. Because to be frank, Patrick, that's the only thing he's got left here. You know, otherwise it's game over. Uh, you know, I wrote this week lastly. I don't know how low this Conservative Party vote is going to go. I mean, it's 19 percent uh, in our poll today. Mm. I mean, you know, when's it going to stop falling? When's it going to stop collapsing? I don't know. I've never seen the Conservative Party be this weak in the national polls, with the exception of the spring of 2019, when Brexit was mm. really injecting chaos into the system. Now, of course, there's a crucial difference, Patrick. In 2019, you had Boris waiting in the wings with a message, get Brexit done. Well, there's nobody waiting in the wings today, and there's no clear, compelling message to get people back on side. So yeah. I think the Tories are in an existential crisis. Well, look, Matt, thank you. And thank you. There's more to those polls as well that we are going to be talking about a lot over the course of the weekend here on GB News. So make sure you go and check all of that out. That is Matthew Goodwin there. Uh, and also make sure you check him out on Substack and all his socials as well. Look